Right, so we'll thread it on so that the first knot sits at the quarter inch mark. Just a simple knot. Keep it around until we get it in the right place. This, of course, as with everything else, will need tuning out with experience. Pull it nice and tight. And get rid of the brace like gauge now in the way. And we just put knots on the top and on the bottom. I like to do six knots, three on the top, three on the bottom. Like that. I think I've a good hard tug. This material is particularly good because it melts well. So with a lighter, we'll just melt the end off and square it off with the thumb. And the same on the other side. And then we shall put the top knocking point on. Okay, and now for the top knocking point, we'll use an arrow to measure the, the gap required. Uh, we don't want to go right up against the knock because we need a little bit of room for when the bow is drawn back. A tight angle appears there and we don't want the arrow being squ squashed by the knocking points which might lead it to be knocked off the arrow rest. So same process again. Nice tight knots and again six knots up here. So you've seen we keep the tail nice and long so we've got that something to pull up on. Remove the knot so we don't burn that by mistake. And we don't want to take the flame too close to the string because we don't want to melt the serving. Or worse still set fire to it. One complete knocking point.